Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, head on over to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. And if this is your first time here, or you've been browsing and you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and that little bell notification icon. Now, what we're going to talk about tonight is this. That's right. A lot of you have seen this. This is the new Unify uh, uh, Mini Flex switch. So let's talk a little bit about this switch. Uh, it's powered via PoE or it has this little uh, USB-C plug in the back. It is a gigabit switch fully managed with Unify and it is super tiny. It's about the size of uh, a deck of cards. And um, on the bottom of it here, you get a, you get a reset port and you get a uh, serial number, all those good things. There's your power on the back. And then of course you've got five PoE or uh, five standard gigabit ports with PoE um, on the front. You have your status indicator and all those awesome things. So if you remember uh, a little while ago, we set up our, um, our UDM our dream machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to adopt this into the dream machine. And I'm going to show you my absolute actual favorite thing to do with this switch. So let's, uh, let's go take a look at it. All right. So here we are, we are over at our UDM. Uh, this is the UDM that we uh, did the, the last UDM video on. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to um, connect the uh, Flex Mini switch over to port number one on the UDM. So I'm doing that right now. And you'll have to take my word for it since you can't see it. But uh, it is now plugged into the UDM and I have a link light. And so here, any anytime I would expect to see uh, that this device uh, show up for adoption. All right, so here is the Unify Switch uh, Flex Mini. So we're gonna adopt this switch in. All right, yep, just needed a power, just needed a power cycle there. Uh, but before we get too far into it, let's take a look at the data sheet on this real quick. So you can see it can be powered by 802.3 AF AT or USB uh, C type. Um, it does not provide PoE out. But you get all of the same um, you get all of the same switch functionality that you would out of a larger switch, obviously besides the PoE, you don't, you don't get the PoE. But here is my favorite thing to do with this switch. So this, and this switch also comes in at like $29 uh, USD. So, but you can do VLANs, you can do all of the things. So here is my uh, favorite thing to do. We may need a firmware update. Yep, we need to upgrade this real quick. Well, it's updating. Let's just take a look, just so you know that this is just like any other switch, but smaller and no PoE. Uh, you got your clients, you got your ports. We can go in here, we can edit a port and do all the things, and we can come into config. We can uh, change the management VLAN. We can do jumbo. Uh, frames. We can do flow control. Okay, looks like our switch is updated. So if we come in here, here's my favorite thing to do is to turn this $29 switch into a gigabit ethernet tap. And how are we going to do that? So what we have to do is we just, we have to mirror ports, right? So let's say that, um, you know, we need to mirror uh, an uplink, right? So what you're going to do is on this switch, you're going to have three connections on here. So what you would do is you would break the connection to the machine that you want to, uh, that you want to capture the packets, you would plug it in and then you would plug in another switch here 
or another uh, connection here to make this connection whole, but then you would mirror one of these ports over to port three. So what we're gonna do is uh, we are gonna go into the ports and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna call this our mirror port. And we'll call it spy glasses. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror and then it's gonna ask us which port we're gonna mirror and we're gonna mirror port one. And we're gonna apply. And guess what? You're gonna break your connection to whatever. You're going to feed into one, feed into two to re, re uh, to make sure that you've got your gigabit connection going again. And then this is going to mirror all of the packets going in there. How awesome is that? So then we still have to power it. So let's take a look at that. All right. So we adopted it. We mirrored the ports, all that good stuff. But what you do is you take it and you pair it with this. Now this is uh, this came with my FLIR camera, but what this is is a battery bank, right? So if I am gonna use this as a um, gigabit um, network tap, I need to be able to power it, and I'm probably not always gonna be able to have power where I'm at. You know, I might be dropping this, I might be going on the run, so what you can see there is I just plugged it in to this, and now this switch is booting and it's going to take um, all of those um, it's going to take all of those changes that we put so the ports are going to be mirrored and all that stuff so you should get it out you know try it out it's absolutely fantastic so now you have a portable gigabit ethernet tap right so and i tried this i actually left this hooked up without any um, anything going through this switch this uh, flur which is um, 4,000 milliamps. It powered this thing for hours and hours and hours. So um, it's awesome, and it fits. You know, it fits right in my pocket. So it's it's absolutely awesome. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, WillieHow.com. Fill out that contact form. All my patrons on Patreon, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. And as always, the affiliate links are down below and they don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over to the channel. So I want to thank you again for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.